Okay, who wants to watch me debate the mother possible future governor of California? All right, let's start with the big news of the week, which is President Trump's comments about foreign interference. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. You want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. Do you, what do you think? I mean, did, was this wrong, what the president said? Uh, it's not the answer I would have given, and there hasn't been a single Republican that has, that has backed that answer. Uh, and I was watching Fox and Friends this morning. He's already walked it back, and he said, no, I, 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 I would go to the FBI. The bottom line, though, is there's been a two-year study to find out whether or not he committed any kind of collusion. And, and he didn't. But isn't he basically advertising, even if I didn't collude before, I'm open to collusion now? I don't think he is. It was an imprecise answer uh, to an imprecise question. I can't wait two years later down the line uh, in the aftermath of the election when we find out that like there was foreign interference or something like that. Uh, Republicans will turn around and point to this uh, moment in time and go, well, they, he was just joking, which is what they did with the previous uh, instances of well, Trump joking. misspeaking. Look, I'm not a big uh, Russiagate hysteric, but it is without a doubt that Donald Trump is a corrupt person. He is morally reprehensible. So I don't know. It doesn't matter. He can say whatever he wants. He literally said that he could kill someone on Fifth Avenue, shoot them, and the American people would still vote for him. And he was right. He was joking. Um, and look, this is an imprecise speaker. I love that he literally did what I said he would, Republicans would do immediately after I was done. I was like, no matter what he says, people will always say he's joking and it doesn't matter. Like, and he's like, he was joking. Obama was a very precise speaker. Uh, his three major decisions, in my opinion, were all based upon falsehoods. The Obamacare decision, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. My mother, as she, as she lay dying on her, on her hospital bed in Hawaii, was suffering uh, from having to fight with her insurance carriers. Turned out it wasn't true. When Barack Obama fails uh, on the policy front when it comes to the ACA, which did not go far enough, I agree with you. Uh, Didn't go far I, enough? I, I absolutely agree criticize Barack Obama for that. I think we do need socialized medicine, Medicare for all. Perhaps wow. could have uh, been more helpful for yeah, your for that, your mother. I'm, and I'm sorry for your loss. That's but. a whole nother debate, but let's go. Oh, that, I, I misunderstood what he was saying. I thought his mother died, which makes it more brutal, but it wasn't even his mother. It was uh, Barack Obama's mother, I think. That's what he was saying, right? The, the point that Hassan <laughs> brought up. The point that Hassan brought up. Would your mother have survived if there was Medicare for all? <laughs> Got a pass for all the misstatements, all the lies he made. But Donald Trump is a big liar. He's evil. It's double standard. It's hypocrisy. Wait, why do you always point to the double standard when I already admitted that when Barack Obama does something wrong, I openly talk about it? Can you just elaborate on your personal opinion sure, in this instance? Sure, sure. Rather uh, than trying to uh, uh, engage in whataboutisms and pointing out double standards? Because don't you think that that's a little disingenuous to I, go back to double standards when we're talking about Donald Trump, who's the president right now, and you have to draw from so far back, like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. These people are not in positions of power. We're not drawing back to the... It's not okay. Two wrongs we're, don't make a right, we're right? Not, we're not drawing back to the 17th century. We're drawing back to just a few years ago. Okay. And Dude, I can't believe this guy's gonna be the governor, dude. He's getting fucking obliterated by this idiot. Who the fuck would wear pants like this, dude? On on television. Can you imagine? You're sitting there and some fucking dickhead is just literally reading you the riot act in perhaps the worst pants that have ever been worn in the history of television. Like this fucking dumbass is literally in pajama pants, dude. Fast and furious. Congress wanted uh, Eric Holder to testify. He didn't show up. They found him in criminal contempt of Congress. 17 Democrats even voted in favor of criminal contempt for him. And no one's talking about that. But when, oh, wait, so, but, so but you're when, saying the Democrats when, were Don, but, him but, when, then. but when Donald Trump uh, says <laughs> I, the, all the stuff that Obama did, he went after but, 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 reporters. But you just admitted that they, to, you just admitted that the Democrats were holding Eric Holder. Seventeen did. That's all. Okay. What, about, many, what about, about the rest are, of them? How many are holding Trump accountable <laughs> to for wrap, all to, of to, the to, awful to, things that he's done? To wrap this up, real point. All the awful things, things he's done. To wrap this yes. up, real point. Oh, man, man, that's fucked up, dude. Imagine being in that position. Holy shit, dude. That's dude. That guy's a fucking. Like, that's a that's a lawyer, too. Obama did. Is it wrong when Trump does it now? I mean, are they both wrong? I'm talking about the fact that... Why can't you say yes? That's really interesting, because I can say yes. Because Obama did awful things, but so is Trump, and Trump is doing even worse things. 
Why can't you admit that? Why can't consumers there was, there ever was, admit when was, Trump is doing something wrong? There was a, a two-year and two-month investigation, $25 million spent to find collusion, uh, conspiracy, uh, coordination. They didn't find anything. Once again. And, and he punted on obstruction of justice. And once again, you're, you're talking to a straw man because I already told you that that's not my personal <laughs> perspective at all. If you want to have a conversation with a lot of open-minded leftists like myself, we are out there. We're on the Internet. We talk about our personal perspective. If you were open-minded, you wouldn't be saying, oh, I don't want to hear about whataboutism. I don't want to hear about what Obama did. I don't want to hear about what Hillary did. Wait, why would I not want to hear about whataboutism? That's like the definition. Definitionally, whataboutism is a misdirection from the main argument that we're trying to have. He's upset that I'm literally trying to keep him on track and, and force him to answer something that... Michael, or, or uh, that that uh, Alex here asked him personally. I don't know why I said Michael. And he's just like, uh, if you were open-minded, you would let me deflect away from this conversation to something entirely separate. I criticized okay. Barack Obama throughout we're his entire gonna, presidency, gonna, and I criticized Hillary Clinton as well. I am not a hypocrite. We're gonna, you we're, we're gonna, are afraid. We're going to talk about another issue Medicare now. Medicare for all? Which are you is, kidding me? Which is the... <laughs> and you're, which you're is a libertarian? The, which is, which you is want the, government to control medicine? Let's talk Hell about yeah. another issue, which is... That's insane. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I got to do these more, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I said, hell yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gavin Newsom, hire me, motherfucker. I mean, don't actually. But, you know, what the fuck are you doing, dumbass Gavin Newsom? He's out there looking sexy, sweeping sidewalks. You know what I mean? He thinks like that's going to get him to stop the fucking recall. Well, I mean, where do you guys see the, the state of the race? Because I think you both might agree on something. Neither of you like Joe Biden. Well, I'm not a fan of any of them. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Me either, I, except, I, for, except for Bernie. Maybe do you like Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren? Warren? Maybe. I, 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 I'll, I'll vote for Elizabeth Warren. This, I, is before, this is before all the controversy, by the way. So, like, this is before that shit popped off with Elizabeth Warren, like, when she was an advocate for Medicare for All and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, I had no way of knowing that she was going to come across, like, if she was going to come out and, like, tank any sort of like viable leftist coalition or leftist momentum. So months before Super Tuesday, months before the sexism stuff, like no big donors at that point. You know what I mean? So, but it's definitely the second best. So option. if Joe Biden got the got the nomination and is running in the, against <laughs> President Trump, you would not vote for him. I don't know. I, I've I've honestly considered uh, moving up into the mountains and living an anarcho primitivist lifestyle if Joe Biden uh, becomes the Democratic nominee. I think Trump has a chance of defeating Joe Biden. But worse than that, even if Joe Biden wins, I think we go back to business as usual politics here in America. Next time around, it's not going to be Donald Trump. It's actually going to be an ideologically minded fascist, not a proto fascist who kind of succeeded uh, somehow and, and, and fooled Americans uh, for long enough to get into a position of power, but an actual terrifying oh, leader. Oh my goodness. Once again, I I'm obviously joking. Like I I've, I've thought about living a Ted Kaczynski lifestyle. That was the joke. And yet people took that li liberals at the time. They were so fucking mad. They were like, Wah! I can't believe you said that. Blah, blah, blah. Like they were fucking losing their minds. They're like, how dare you? Yeah, like I'm making a fucking Unabomber joke and motherfuckers were like, that's serious. Um, but not only that, but also my analysis is pretty fucking spot on. I think we went back to business as usual politics with a notable exception with Afghanistan, significantly better than my expectations for Joe Biden. And I fucking defend it. I defend Joe Biden. I'm riding with Biden now. Didn't you admit that you lied about not voting for Biden to scare the libs into nominating Bernie? Yeah, until like the last fucking feasible moment of Bernie Sanders candidacy, I uh, would refuse to admit whether I would vote for Biden or not. But then after when it was Biden that was the fucking candidate, I was like, listen, not my candidate, but I'm, I'm still going to vote for him. There was just a poll and Gallup and they looked at Donald Trump ideologically. 17 percent believe that he was too conservative. 18% thought George W. Bush was too conservative. 38% think that Donald Trump's views are just right. 36% thought George W.'s views were just right. The people perceive Donald Trump and George W. Bush to be almost mirror images ideologically. But I hear all this stuff about Donald Trump has changed the Republican Party, turned it into a party of cult. It's not true. People perceive them to be ideologically identical. I agree with you on that. I 100% agree with you. I think Donald, and we talked about this outside, Donald Trump is a perfectly sound Republican, but also George W. Bush was a war criminal. So I, oh, I don't crying, like George oh, W. Crying, Bush either. All right, right we're, 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 <laughs> let, let's, let's take a break. War criminal. Let's yes. take a break. Let's let everybody cool <laughs> down a little people, bit. Remember? Up next. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's let everybody cool down a little people, bit. Remember? Up next. <laughs> that little thing, he tortured people, remember?
for crying out loud. Larry, let's start with you. I asked this question to Congresswoman Bass earlier. I is this a failure of liberal policies yes. in California? Yes, because part of the reason for the homelessness crisis is because of the lack of affordability, because of zoning ordinances, NIMBYism. That's so weird. My man is a straight YIMBY, Larry Elder. What's up, neoliberals? That's your governor, dude. That's your next governor. I'm sure all the fucking psychos in my mentions being like, bought a house and is a NIMBY now. We'll, uh... I mean, uh, they're neoliberals, of course, they love Larry Elder. But, like, uh, all the fucking weirdo yimbies that are, are supposedly leftists that are fucking screeching at me because I think that, like, ultimately, this does not solve the problem, like, making more landlords. Nimbies are not in my backyard, uh, people. It's a, it's a housing argument. Yimbies are, yes, in my backyard, and nimbies are not in my backyard. They're, like, fucking urbanists. Uh, that believe that, uh, you know, we should have more buildings and, and densely populated areas to solve the ho uh, homelessness crisis. They're correct to a certain degree. Yes, there should be more uh, available, readily available, uh, uh, you know, uh, permanent housing opportunities for people so they don't get priced out of the housing market and become homeless. So I do agree in building more housing 100%. Uh, but Yimbies usually are just like advocates for deregulation and don't want to new conditions on on diverse housing for example or they don't want to make sure that like the housing that is built is assessing the needs or the addressing the needs of of uh people that need permanent shelter or people that need not to get uh, priced out of the housing market but the other problem of course is that a lot of people who are homeless have mental problems uh, they have substance abuse problems, and throwing money at it is not going to help it. The government needs to get out of the way and allow churches and nonprofits uh, to deal with this problem uh, because government can't do it. I agree. I think this is a problem of liberal capitalism. I, want, I also agree with everything that Larry just said. Uh, I think the solution is to decommoditize housing as best as possible through a series of different programs. Rent control was something that was uh, put forward. There are 100,000 empty homes in the San Francisco metro area alone. And there are, what, 59,000 homeless people? It doesn't seem like, it, it, I know what the solution to this problem is. I think we all know what the solution to the problem is. We can't just if, say if, it. If, what's if, the, if, what's if, the if solution? Assan, if Assan, giving, you, giving homeless people houses. It sounds if, ridiculous, if, if, if but Assan, there are empty houses and people dying in the streets. What's more important, making sure that the property values are as high as possible, or making sure that our fellow Americans, young children who are uh, who are uh, going to college right now, trying to better themselves and uh, trying to uh, to build a better future for America, living in their cars, living on the streets. What's more important? Isn't this the guy that bought the three million dollar house? Fuck yeah, baby. And I still have those exact same. I still have those exact same points of view. That's so strange. It's almost like uh, what I did does not even remotely conflict with my values and that uh, you were just bitter because I bought a house that was not to your liking and that you have to fucking literally live in permanent rent. Sorry. It's okay, though. At least your mom enjoys my pool when I fuck her in it. Okay, that's right. I'm your dad now and you're fucking grounded. Hold this L, bitch. Housing, which I would regard as an inelastic, uh, uh, I would regard as having inelastic demand, which is a necessity for people to survive. Shelter, right? Very important. Should be dealt with appropriately. But I also feel the same way about so, healthcare as so, well. So you so. want government to displace private contractors? Oh, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I said, wow. Wow. Uh, New York has had rent control for a very long period of time. It destroyed their housing stock that they had before the Second World War. It's not just rent control, Larry. And, and Don't the, focus the, and, on and, that. And the idea that I, as a contractor, should be barred from charging fair market value for my rent will create a disincentive for me to build more housing. So we ought to unleash the private sector, not constrain the private sector, as Hassan wants to do. Let Here's me. what happens when you unleash the private sector. Sorry to cut you off. Airbnb, which is absolutely destroying the housing market as well. Because, hey, they're incentivized. That's what, that's what happens when you try to fix something with the profit motive. You have a bunch of homeless people, and then Larry sits here and says, why don't we just let the, the nonprofits take care of it? Well, the nonprofits are not going to take care of it. If we wanted to wait for people to be nice to one another, I don't think we would have gotten into this problem in the first place. Wow, almost like uh, my points of view have not changed at all. That's so crazy. But no, dude, hey guys, keep yelling at me about how fucking I've changed because I bought a house or some shit like that. This health care for undocumented people under 26 will have access you mean, to, you mean, you mean to illegal, Medicaid. You mean illegal aliens. Or 
<laughs> depending on your perspective on what word you, you choose to Wait, use. Wait, let me ask you. So, you said illegal aliens. Mm -hmm. Do you not think that they're human? They're human beings, right? Is there a term called undocumented in the U.S. title code? It doesn't matter. Are they human oh, beings or not? I'm matter. asking you a direct it, it, it question. It doesn't matter. You want to have a conversation about well, legality why, why or whatnot. Why ask some when stupid we... question like that? No, they're gerbils. Of course they're human beings. Oh, okay. So, the, the so question, then that's the fine. The then we should give them health care. The there what we go. The question is what should we call them in the end? Oh, Larry. <laughs> but Good. let's a, let's ask the question though in terms of because well, because money is not you know infinite so sure. it's sort of the choice for California taxpayers when we have so many other problems including homelessness for so many California residents is this a good use of California taxpayer money to give it to pay for this? Yes, no, absolutely. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. I think we should I think we should solve the homelessness problem as well as I demonstrated in, in a few different ways and, and how we can make it a little bit better yeah. uh, and, and, and mitigate that problem. But we should also absolutely help the people that are here already that are working. I mean, we, these are just human beings. Are, like You can call simply, them undocumented or you can call them illegal. You can call building, them whatever you want. But these are human beings that are existing. Building a, bigger, a bigger welcome mat for people to come here illegally. In California, already illegal aliens can drive cars legally. In California, an illegal alien... This guy's like, literally, like, his advocacy is like, we shouldn't let them drive cars. How are they gonna get to the fucking avocado, uh, uh, you know, fields, motherfucker? Huh? What do you want? Uh, you want to bar human beings from driving around? Well, let's let, here, just because they were born on another side of he, an imaginary border. That here's is the here's the here's the me. governor's that same question, and he <laughs> says, <laughs> "I'm sorry, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ." Posturous here's the here's the me. governor's perspective on this because I asked him that same question, and mm -hmm. he says, "Look, they're here anyways. They're going to the emergency room anyways. It's going to be more expensive to treat them in the emergency room, so we're better off giving them health care, so then they can get preventative care." What do you say to that? The answer is, you are creating incentives on the part of people to come here illegally to come to California. And Wait, take so advantage why not kill them and take advantage? It's why just, not kill not, them? Why not, not enslave fair. them and put them in camps then? Yeah. No, guy, I'm serious. This guy, well, this that's guy not... is a piece of cake. No, no, no. I'm not. This is a serious question. I mean, this is serious question. Because, because if you I want to bar people, if you want to bar human beings, are, are they human beings? Are they human beings? No, no, no. That's if you want ridiculous. To... You talk about straw man. You just Hold did on. that. I'm, people should come to the country legally. How far should we go for those who are here already, though? Should we kill them? You said you're fine with not giving them cars. You're fine with barring them from driving. You're fine with barring them from access to to health care. How far should we go? Should we put them in little camps? We should maybe not, ship we them should away. Not reward them for coming here illegally. Okay. I, agree, I agree with President Donald Trump. So we, how we, far we, do you think we should go? Did I answer the question? We yeah. should get rid of the bad hombres. Those who have done real serious crimes, they should be gotten rid of. Dude, that was oof. I wouldn't be mad about watching another one of these roast sessions. I mean, I've done this with like, I, I, I've done this with Ann Coulter. I did it with like uh, Michael Knowles. So when motherfuckers say I don't actually, uh, you know, debate at all or whatever, they're wrong. Okay. They're just wrong. That's not true. I do debate. Just not your fucking favorite dumbass on the internet. Sorry. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it, uh, I'm gonna keep it real. Okay. One. Debates are just for funsies, okay? You have the capability of changing people sometimes, but ultimately you're not like uh, arriving at a profound truth through the Socratic method in the way that like debate lords try to uh, explain it. Two, your fucking favorite debate daddy is irrelevant, okay? I'm only gonna do it if it's cool. If it's a cool opportunity, I have a big enough, like, you know, I'm reaching out to a big enough audience and uh, it's gonna be a fun experience for me. So sorry. If I refuse to debate whoever the fuck you like keep putting forward because like, you know, some random neck bearded essayist is like, you know, uh, crying about uh, whether or not I uh, peed when a fucking YouTube video was playing in the background, like I'm not going to debate them. That's not fun. That's not interesting. That's not, you know, it's not in my best interest. So no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So I'm just letting you know. And yeah, if there's any proof that the debates don't do shit as this, you shat on this man and yet he's pretty damn close to becoming governor. Yup. This dude got thoroughly embarrassed by a fucking idiot who streams on Twitch. And and look at him. He's killing it, okay? He's fucking going to be governor soon. So give me a goddamn break. You're literally pushing for the downstream effects of his proposed actions when he said illegal aliens shouldn't get health care, but he doesn't want to acknowledge that he's advocating for killing them indirectly, yet this man is on the way to becoming a governor. Debates don't work. Exactly. New Larry Elder scandal just dropped from 2011. California recall candidate Larry Elder disclosed sexual harassment allegations on a 2011 radio show, but implied one woman was too ugly for it to be true. My man, dude. He also wrote a, he wrote a book called Stupid Black Man. I mean, he's, he's crazy. He's like, he's like the OG uh, black conservative.
Wow.